and welcome to the Cherry on Top YouTube channel. I'm Jessica and today we are starting our January YouTube hop. This hop's theme is to try something new. So everyone in our design team is trying out something that they've never done before. It could be a new technique, a new product. If you leave a comment on this video as well as go and check out all of our design team members videos and leave a comment on their videos as well you'll be entered to win a $25 a cherry on top gift card hope you enjoy the hop it took a little bit finding what i wanted to do for this because finding something new and something that i've never used before could be kind of tricky when it's my job to try out all of the new things and keep up to date on everything but then we got a sample of the new thermal cinch and I thought that it would be perfect because I've never used it before this is the first time I'm ever using it so I'm starting out by making a mini version of a book and this isn't going to be my final one but it's always a good idea when you're using a new tool to do a test one and see what you can do better on your final uh, these Binding spines are so, so cute. I'm using this green floral one, and then I grabbed some yellow basil cardstock for the covers. I'm matching it with this cute ribbon bookmark. I'm using some mixed media paper for this notebook. It says in the instructions that the notebooks will fit 50 pieces of copy paper or 25 pieces of cardstock. So I believe I put 25 pieces of mixed media paper in here and it fit just right. So I'm adding the bookmark there. It comes with these little adhesive strips. So I put that on and then I'm putting the adhesive onto the notebook and then I'll stick the notebook into the spine and the spine has some double-sided tape on the outsides so that's what sticks it to the paper and then there is an adhesive strip that once you put it in the thermal press it melts the adhesive and then when it cools it connects all of the pages together so it's kind of cool how it works like this so I got it all set and lined up and then I turn on the switch so it starts to get hot. It'll beep when you first turn it on and then it'll beep again when once it's hot enough. And then when it's hot enough, add the book in there and then press the timer button and it will go for two minutes and then it'll be ready to go. There's this little cooling section that you can leave it in. It says for five minutes. I definitely didn't wait five minutes and it seemed good enough for me. I noticed that some of the glue on the outside leaked a little bit, but I have an idea to solve that with my main notebook. For this one, I'm using some papers from 49 and Markets Vintage Artistry Moonlit Garden Collection. I just think it's so so pretty you guys know I love 49 and market so I'm using it here as well and then see how on one side the strip the adhesive strip doesn't go all the way well I found that you want to snip that on the other side as well and then it won't leak out like it did on my test book so that's an important step so you don't make a little gluey mess on the outside of your paper. And I am painting this ribbon just so it would match the colors of my notebook a little bit better. And then I'm also going to paint my spine as well. And this was definitely an experiment. I debated if I wanted to do this after I used the cinch but I figured I would test it out for you guys and see if you can paint the spine and then put it into the cinch. So I'm using some acrylic Stamperia paint and then going on top of that with some liquid acrylics from Prima and this is the Prussian blue. It's my favorite color blue and I just think it's so, so pretty. And now I'm attaching the main section with all the papers of my book 
onto the spine. Again, I make sure it's all lined up. I've got my ribbon. It was a little bit crisp after the paint, so I was just playing with it a little bit to loosen it up again. And if your ribbon is a little bit long, you don't want it to be that long like in the spine of your book. You wanna make sure to cut off the extra. And that way the adhesive that melts and that is in the spine can reach all of the papers. So that's why I have been clipping the bookmark to just the right length. So now I, I like to start with just taking one side of the double-sided tape off and pressing it on and then moving to the other side. Because I have not tried out the acrylic paint on the spine, I decided to grab a piece of wax paper and put that in just in case anything bad happened with the acrylic paint in here being right on the heat. It turned out that nothing bad happened at all, but at least for the first time I thought it would be smart to put a piece of wax paper in there. It's something good if you're doing anything experimental like this. And then with my practice notebook, I noticed that some of the pages seemed like they could have been pressed in a little bit more. So once it, the adhesive on this got hot, I actually just pushed down the pages to make sure that they hit the adhesive really well. And then it was perfect. This one turned out great. I didn't have any extra glue spillage on the other side and all of my pages went in perfectly. So those were a couple tips that I had and I think my second book turned out really really well. Now I'm moving on to decorating. I love using the laser cut pieces from 49 and Market and that's really the star of this decorating portion of this notebook. So I'm just layering with the florals. I added a frame here just for something to have a little bit more of a focal point. And then I am layering up. I really love the florals. I feel like it's something that you can add a lot of and they just look so, so nice. My go-to glue for these laser cut pieces is the Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive and that's because even if I over glue some of the areas I'm easily able to wipe it off and it's not sticky on my fingers and it doesn't leave a residue on my page which is important especially when gluing down such tiny elements like these little blades of grass added a title piece here which says collecting memories and I try to layer up my clusters so if I have one tag it's likely that I'll add one or two more on top of it and once I had this section done I thought I could also use a little something else in the top right corner as well so I'm making another little mini cluster up here I'm also using the Sizzix paper distressing tool on all of the square elements like the tags and the frames and it just gives it a little bit more texture and a tiny bit of dimension that I think looks really nice. I wanted to finish this page up by adding some white splatters to it and a quick way to do this is by using a paint pen. I'm using the white Spectrum Noir acrylic paint marker and just hold down the nib a little bit to get the paint flowing and then you can flick it around the page. And that is it for this. I hope this gave you some ideas on working with the thermal cinch. Thanks for watching.